So last night I came out here and I cut this hay field with the sickle bar mower and it just clogged constantly. So um, every time I unclogged it, there'd be like a huge pile of grass that would fall off the sickle bar when I got it cleared off. And that's the main reason why I'm gonna TED tonight is just because I know there's some big piles out there and that's not gonna dry very well. So I wanna get everything spread out so that everything is nice and even and it dries evenly. And um, there's not a lot of alfalfa in it this cutting. It was really wet and it was mostly grass and the, the alfalfa didn't do very well over the last month. So there was very, actually very little alfalfa in here so I'm not really too worried about tearing it up. Uh, I'd say 90% grass this time, which is completely opposite from last year when it was dry and it was probably 90% alfalfa. So it's just like a complete difference. Probably the uh, one of the best reasons why there's a mix of, of forage out here is that some of this will do good in dry weather, some will do better in wet weather. But let's go ahead, get the tractor fired up, see if we can get this tedded tonight before the sun goes down. All right, we got the hay field all um, tedded. Everything's fluffed, it's spread out. Um, I didn't get it done as quite as early as I'd hoped. The, uh, the sun's already down. It's actually down pretty far. It's a lot darker than it looks like in the video. Um, I got a little bit of a slow start tonight because I actually ate supper and, and talked to Rebecca and kind of hung out for a little bit before I came out here. I wasn't gonna do like what I did last night cutting the hay field. I actually ended up by the time we got done with the evening chores and then I went inside and I had to fix myself something to eat. It ended up being like 9.30 before I even ate supper last night. So I wasn't gonna let that happen again. So, uh, so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna let this dry in the sun tomorrow and then maybe the next day after that and then we'll go ahead and we'll rake it into windrows. We'll get the hay rake out here in a couple days and we'll rake it up and get it ready to bale. hay wagon was half full of bad hay from that first cut of hay and um, 
this is not good for really anything but bedding and I've decided to uh, just go ahead and compost the majority of that so we've thrown most of it on the compost bins over here and uh, I ended up saving 12 bales that we'll put up in the barn and we'll keep that in case we need some bedding over the winter time but I don't I don't need all of that taking up space in the barn so I'm gonna go ahead and get these last few bales put away in the barn and then tomorrow morning we're gonna end up getting hay rake out and we'll start raking our windrows and getting it ready to bale. So I've got the hay field all raked into windrows and I tried as I was going through the field I did the outside first and tried to give me kind of make a row somewhat close to the edge that way I had a place to turn around and do the middle rows and I tried to space it so that I would end up with double windrows but some of them I ended up you know just eyeballing it so some of them I ended up a little too wide and they ended up being triple windrows by the time I, I, I bunched it up from both sides and brought it together. So uh, so that may be a problem when we get to the hay baler because it's a, uh, you know, that may uh, want to clog it up. So we'll just have to watch that when we're baling it. So the hay looks pretty good. 
it's got it's a nice light green color I don't know if that'll show up in the video but uh, you can tell it's definitely dry it's at least dry here in the middle of the field um, that south edge over there by the trees it's always shady and that side over there was pretty bright green in some spots so it's gonna end up probably needing to dry a little bit longer we may bail everything except for that last windrow over there and bail that tomorrow but uh, I think that's it for today's video. I gotta go ahead and put this back up and then I gotta start getting everything ready to bale the hay. So, um, ended up getting the field raked the way I did it this time. I'm switching it up every time, trying to find the best way. So the way I did it this time was probably the fastest way I've ever raked it. Um, took me an hour and 15 minutes and I probably, and that was filming. So probably if I wasn't trying to move cameras around, probably would have got done in an hour. So. Uh, pretty happy with the way this all worked out um, wish that the shady spot over there I wish I would have raked that out to the sunlight in the middle of the field after I would have cut it and then tetted it and spread it back out um, in the sunshine and maybe all of this would have been dry but yeah that's it for this video guys so I'm gonna go set up the hay baler and get that all ready I'm gonna be back out here probably in about two hours and we'll end up being be, be uh, bailing this should have Rebecca helping me running the tractor um, so hopefully it'll go fairly quick but that'll be in the next video so thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one